Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the GE refrigerator door stop. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new door stop. The door stop is located at the bottom of each door and it prevents you from opening the door too far. The main reason you be changing it out is if it's cracked or damaged and the door is opening too far. There's a door stop located at the bottom of each door. They're both changed out the same way. We're going to show you how to do it on the fresh food door. We're going to use a ratchet with a quarter inch socket and a torque 20 driver. The two screws are located on the back side of the door stop. We're just going to reach underneath with the torque driver and loosen them up, take them out. Once you have both screws out, you can pull the door stop off the door. Here's the old door stop next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Looks like they changed the design a little bit, but the new one will go on and work fine. To put the door stop in, we're going to drop the inner screw in first, and then we're going to grab the ratchet with the quarter inch socket and the Torque 20 driver and hold it all together while we lift it up into place and get the screw into the hole. Once you have it lined up, you can tighten down the screw a little bit. We're not going to tighten it down all the way, but we're going to tighten it down enough to hold it in place so we can spin the door stop around and get the other screw lined up and we can tighten them both down. Once you have both screws tightened down, we can plug the refrigerator back in and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.